my lashes are done i got my lashes done y'all like okay it's giving bougie and i'm gonna go ahead and try out this new shampoo and conditioner <laughs> My sauce goes crazy. How I season goes crazy, period. But girl, look at this dang pajama set. But I ain't gonna question God. I ain't gonna question God. Like even the home I grew up in. When I think that like somebody lives there now, like it's weird. All right, girl, we're gonna get started on my makeup. What's going on here? What's going on here? You need to smile with your beautiful self. There you go. Hey, hold on, stop doing that. <laughs> I'm not kidding with you. Mmm. Looking orange. Looking orange. Ooh. Chef Boyardee. Hey, Chef Boyardee. Oh my gosh. No, I don't look like this right now. You can sit down. Mm-hmm. You're late. Mm-hmm. Right on time. You can sit down. Girl, we are making progress. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, girl. My hair is still so popping. Girl, today is a stay in the house kind of day, okay? I am so tired, so I'm going to use today to like reset for next week, which is tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday. I have had such a busy and productive week, so I'm just going to go ahead and chill today. Take this time to go ahead and take care of myself, take care of my hair, take care of my skin, take care of my body. And then I should be back to normal tomorrow, y'all, because um, your girl today, girl, I just cannot shake off this tiredness. Like, girl, I went on a long walk. I've been drinking tons of water. I finished my coffee. Girl, I'm about to go ahead and finish the rest of this little superfoods blend by Bloom. Nothing is working. I cooked some breakfast, ate, of course. Girl, still no energy at all. So at this point, I'm kind of getting the uh, the hint that my body just needs to go ahead and just chill today. And I don't need to try to like do the most today. So I'm going to use this Sunday as a chill day. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do some self-care. And girl, when I get done and get up out the shower, I'm going to go ahead and put on my new PJs. Girl. I got some new pajamas at Target. Let me go ahead and wipe my hands so I can show y'all these new cute pajamas. So I went to a different Target. The day that I filmed my recent video, my last video, my hygiene shopping video, go ahead and check that out because your girl got some goodies, okay? That day I tried out a different Target and girl, I found such cute pajamas and yes, my lashes are done. I got my lashes done, y'all. So it was like a last minute like decision I made last week. I was just like scrolling through some pictures and I was like, I miss my lash extensions. So I went online and I was searching, girl. I was searching like who the heck can do some good lashes? Cause look, I'm not into the natural looking lashes. I'm not into the classics. Like, no, if I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them, okay? So I finally found this girl and I was like, ooh, her work is real pretty. Like that's, those are my kind of lashes. So I booked with her last week. And then yesterday I went and got my lashes done, y'all. Oh my gosh, am I obsessed? Am I obsessed? I told her I didn't want like, you know, like the wings that come out. So they're like perfect. Like they fit my face so well. I don't think I've ever left the lash salon the day of and felt beautiful. Like the day of that I usually get my lashes done, I usually don't like them. Cause they look different the day of. Like the day that you actually get them done, they just look like too much. The next morning, I started to feel them, but girl, this was like the first time I left the lash line and I was like, oh my gosh, I love these lashes. Like, I love them. They are so beautiful. So yeah, girl, I found me a good lash tech, okay? Because I had been eyeing this other girl's um, websites or like her like Google profile, or whatever the heck, because her, her work looked really good. But when I went on her website, she's not licensed, which is a little dangerous. And you have to like, of course, sign paperwork and be like, you know, I know this girl's not licensed, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just not with the trouble. So you, so the Lord put this Google profile in my path and I found this other girl and I was like, oh my gosh, her work is so cute. So I went and got my lashes done yesterday, y'all. And I am obsessed with them. Oh, but I was gonna go ahead and show y'all my PJs. But yeah, girl, I got my lashes done because I was looking through them pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, 
I miss my lashes. Because if you don't know, I've been getting my lashes done for years. Okay, love my lashes. Because you can just wake up in the morning and go. Like, you're fully glam first thing in the morning. Um, but if you don't know, like I said, I love my lashes. But I recently moved. And girl, there is no way I'm going to be able to just every two weeks be driving back to my hometown to get my lashes done it's way too many miles on my car it's too much gas and it takes too much out of me so i was just like screw it i'm gonna try to like figure out how to do my lashes at home with like lash strips cutting them up putting them underneath my my lashes but it just became too much y'all having to always do the lashes not feeling like doing it then they come off you gotta like redo them. like it's just like it was too much for me i held in there pretty long though i'm not gonna lie but it just got to be too much for me so i just said screw it booked an appointment and my girl hooked the sister up okay mm -hmm. but yeah i went to a different target and i found some super cute pajamas because as y'all know these targets where i live like they just have not been giving at all like their stuff is just not as cute but i did find some cute pajamas girl i found like these like suede like velvet uh pajamas oh my gosh y'all are these not adorable so i'm wearing these today when i get about the shower girl and i moisturize and get my smell goods on girl i'm about to put these on and i am chilling for the day okay i might cook something but we'll see like okay it's getting bougie and then these y'all look how cute these look like men's boxers oh my gosh y'all they're too adorable they got like the lines and everything <laughs> And then the matching bra. I wanted the white set, but they didn't have it in my size. So I was just like, screw it. I'm going to grab the red. And then the gray set, they only had the tops and not the bottom. Okay, Target, come through. We love it. Girl, I totally forgot. I also picked up this cute vest. Like, girl, is this not so cute? Like, I cannot wait to go ahead and wear this with, like, a cute sweatshirt. If you watched my recent video when I went to Marshall's, I found a super cute Ford sweatshirt that I know this is going to go so cute with. Okay, so, okay, so Target did have a couple nice pieces, which we love. But back to what I was doing, which is my hair. I'm just um, retwisting my hair, but I want to do three twists this time. I usually do two, which in total will be four. But this time I want to do three and three, which will be six, because I want to see what that looks like. Now, this side doesn't look as good when I twist it out because I didn't put as much heat on it. If y'all watch my recent video. So, yeah, it's not going to be as cute, but I'm just trying to like prolong this little hairstyle, even though it's not really like a hairstyle. I'm just trying to like prolong it, y'all, because as y'all know, I don't want to like waste heat, even though it's not even like a cute heat style. I don't know, y'all. I'm confusing my dang self, but I'm trying to make it work so i'm just twisting my hair up then i'm gonna go ahead and do some skincare and do a face mask I haven't done a face mask in a while pop my butt up in the shower and i'm actually gonna go ahead and test out some of the new products that i've been purchasing in my recent videos y'all know in my last two videos i got some new products or tons of new products and i am so excited to go ahead and get a move on actually trying them but this is like my favorite thing to do to my hair because when i take them out it's super cute and then also just leaving them in keeps my hair so moisturized and detangled so that i don't have to like always detangle my hair because having to always detangle my hair takes out a lot of my hair and girl i'm trying to keep the hair on my dang head so whatever i can do to benefit my hair girl i am doing so this side is done. Love it, girl. I always feel like I'm doing such a good thing for my hair or I am doing such a good thing for my hair when I do this thing hairstyle, y'all. And I'm just using my Do Grow Mega Thick Hair Lotion. Y'all, this stuff is so good for your hair. Is it focusing? This stuff is so good for your hair. It's so moisturizing. This does my hair very well and it also grows your hair. But girl, for some reason, like so many like random people have been popping up in my head and like in my dreams. I'm like, girl, I haven't seen these people in years. Like, I don't even talk to these dang people. So I've been doing like a lot of praying for a lot of people like I don't even talk to, haven't seen in years because what I believe is that if like random people are popping into your head or popping in your dreams, they might just need some prayer. So I just take it as the Lord putting them in my mind and on my heart to go ahead and pray for them. What I would say is like, if you ever have like random people pop into your head or in your dreams, just start praying for them, honestly, because I believe like that's what the Lord wants us to do. Like he's putting them on our heart, on our minds and our dreams so we can go ahead and pray because a lot of people don't have people praying for them. And that's just facts. And like, you always need somebody praying for you. And that's another thing y'all, a lot of us have praying mamas but a lot of us don't pray for our moms and so i just want to encourage y'all 
If you ain't praying for your parents or praying for your mom, I encourage you to go ahead and do so now. Because, you know, everybody got a praying mama. Everybody got a praying mama. But who's praying for their mama? You feel what I'm saying? So I would definitely suggest if you're not praying for your mom to start now. They need prayer too. And my mama is a praying warrior, okay? But I also need to be praying for her. So I pray for my mom as well. But yeah, praying, praying, praying. If somebody randomly is popping up in your head in your dreams, pray for them. If something is going on out of your control, pray and don't worry. Because girl, if you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to work, don't pray. Because there ain't no point. And pray for your mama. Pray for your kids. Pray for your animals. Pray for your family. Pray for people that are getting on your nerves. Like ask the Lord to soften their heart and give them understanding and like work on them. Praying is so important, y'all. So yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and mention that because that's been happening like so much to me. Like just like random people popping up. I'm like, why are you like in my head right now? Like I have not. Oh, that's like a random piece of hair. Oh, well. Like, I have not talked to you, spoke to you, seen you, thought about you in, girl, how long? And you just, in my head, so I'm just going to go ahead and pray because I don't know what's going on with you. All right, girl, I twisted all my hair. I'm just going to go ahead and, like, clip it up into one of these, what do you call them? Butterfly clips, banana clips, butterfly clips, definitely, because it goes like this, like a butterfly. First, I'm going to put them in a ponytail, and then I'm going to go ahead and put them up. And get started on skincare. Okay. All right. Taking care of my hair. Taking care of my skin. Yes, ma'am. Today I'm gonna go ahead and try out this new cleansing oil that I just bought in my recent video. Girl, CeraVe came out with a hydrating foaming oil cleanser. Stop playing with me. Like, come on, CeraVe. We've been needing this. So, girl, let me wash my hands and let's get into it. And I'm going to wait one more day to get my lashes wet. So I'll wash them tomorrow. And I usually, okay, I don't think I like this. I thought it was going to be like a for real oil. And then like when I put water to it, then it foams up. But it's like already foaming up. This ain't even like no oil. It's just like a regular cleanser. CeraVe, y'all had me excited for what? Stop playing with me. I thought this was going to be like a real like cleansing oil. But it's literally just like a regular soap. Girl... What's the instructions on this? Because ain't no way y'all saying, yeah, that's how you know it ain't no real oil because they're talking about some wet skin with lukewarm water, massage the cleanser into your skin. With like regular cleansing oils, you don't do water. You do dry hands, dry face, work it into your skin and then go in with water and then it'll like emulsify. Girl, this is a regular cleanser. Girl, y'all just slapped foaming oil on there. Stop playing with me. Y'all play the sister. Realistically, it's my fault because I should have read the instructions. We here now, so we just gonna use it till it's gone. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my nails done again, you guys. Like just like regular nails because you gotta play it safe at like the regular nail salons. So I'm just gonna go for like super short, square, white nails, like light pink, beige, all of those colors because you cannot go wrong with like super short, square nails with those kind of colors. You're gonna look super bougie. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that the next time my mom gets her nails done, which will be in two weeks because she's getting her nails done today. Because girl, I think I'm kind of getting tired of press-ons. I think I'm just getting tired of like all the maintenance things are taking. Like when I was having to do my own lashes, it was just too much of like an upkeep. And then with these nails, with press-ons, same exact thing. Like I think it's just becoming a little bit too inconvenient. So I'm gonna get my nails done the next time my mom goes in to get hers done. And we'll see how I feel about it. And then my lash tech, her sister does nails because girl, huh. My lash tech, her nails were fleeked out. I'm like, girl, who does your lashes? She was like, girl, my sister does them. I'll give you her information. But her sister does them like 25 minutes away. And girl, I'm just not with the whole driving thing. So I'm just going to go to the regular little nail salon my mama goes to and where I go to get my feet done and just get some regular little square nails because that's the safest way to go. It's going to be like the cutest you're going to get at them kind of nail salon. Just like the super short little tapered square nails and call it a day, okay? And I'm going to go for like white first. But I must go ahead and put on this orange original skin retexturizing what what retexturizing mask with rose clay i just want to like make things simpler and getting my nails like done i think it'll make my life a lot easier 
I mean, not saying that press-ons make my life hard, but in a way, because they be popping off and junk and I always have to like glue them back on because press-ons are all about how you prep them. So you wanna go ahead and buff them and then put alcohol on them. Then they'll last longer. But you gotta do that like every single time you do your press-ons, which in return probably isn't the best, well, it isn't the best for your nails. So I always give my nails a break from buffing them and just put the press-ons on and then they pop off earlier. So don't get me wrong, I still love my press-ons because of the cute designs you can do. You can take them off and reuse them, girl, all of that. But you getting what I'm saying. So I'm about to just start getting my lashes done again, start getting my nails done. I can't get my feet done no time soon because I, I get like acrylic on my big toes because it makes my toes look cuter. And um, my acrylic popped off the other day and I have like some fungus underneath there. So I've been medicating it, like putting on like fungus medication on it and it's going away but it's looking like i'm gonna have to take a break from getting like pedicures for a while so when i do like shower videos and stuff like that i am not showing my feet because girl they're looking a little wild right now they're looking a little wild but girl let's get into these new products i'm gonna go ahead <coughs> oh my gosh Dang. Let's get into these new products I'm gonna go ahead and test out today. So as y'all know, dang, it's getting hard to move my face. Also, I did some whitening strips today. My teeth are getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Girl, we love it. Girl, my hair is getting healthier. My teeth are getting whiter. My skin is getting healthier. I got cute lashes. Girl, I found me a good little lash tag. Finna start getting my nails done, y'all. Stuff is looking up, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm playing. <laughs> Y'all probably like, you are so detached from reality. No, you get what I'm saying. I like to feel good about myself, okay. Anyways, these are the products I'm gonna go ahead and test out today. So I'm gonna shave my legs today. So of course I gotta go ahead and exfoliate. And I'm gonna be exfoliating with this new Skin Fix Glycolic Renewing Scrub. Y'all know I just bought this at Marshall's and it was $14.99. And y'all, this stuff is $32 at Sephora. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that today on my legs. I've heard so many good things about this dang scrub. Oh, they put a cute like little sample of the renewing cream that I also picked up, but I'm not gonna try that today. I'm just gonna use a regular lotion. Speaking of that, what kind of lotion am I gonna eat? Oh, you know what? Like I said, we got products to try today. So I'm gonna scrub with my Skin Fix. And then in my recent video, y'all know I picked up this Brazilian Bear Tropical Coconut Extra Moisturizing Shave Syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and shave my legs with this. So obsessed with coconut right now. As for cleansing my body, I'm gonna try out this Kopari Guava Hydrating Body Wash. So I've already tried out the coconut one and y'all, I'm obsessed. This body wash is $20 originally. I got it for $9.99. Like I said, I already tried the coconut one. And when I tell y'all, the lather on that dang kopari body wash i'm hoping this one lathers up the same because oh my gosh it's like my new favorite body wash you only have to use the tiniest bits and it just lathers so beautifully so girl i'm hoping it's the same thing with this and then when i get out of the shower i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize with my new being french being frenchy girl i don't know i'm gonna moisturize with my new lavender cloud body wash and my lavender cloud hair and body oil girl we have so many cool things to go ahead and try i'm so excited this is so exciting y'all know how i get about my hygiene y'all know how i am about body care i love it so let's go ahead and get started girl i'm about to have a shower and enjoy myself then put on my new pjs and chill okay we chilling hold up your girl totally forgot to change her razor heads so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now as y'all know i love my intuition razor let me take this one off though because it's old replacing your razor heads is so important y'all because girl a dull razor is dangerous it can cut you give you razor burn and nobody wants that okay it gives you a much more beautiful smooth shade when you have a clean new razor so while we're at it i'm gonna go ahead and also replace my pubic hair razor Y'all know I love my Gillette Venus pubic hair and skin razor. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and replace this one too. Simple as that. And girl, we got two fresh razors. Yes, ma'am. Okay, girl, so when I first got into the shower, the first product I tried was the Kopari Guava Hydrating Body Wash. And my rating on this is a six out of 10, and let me explain to y'all why. So I love the formula, like I love it. It's the same as the Kopari Coconut Body Wash. The lather is so beautiful. Like y'all, this was my first cleanse, and look how soapy it is. And as we know, the first cleanse is never as soapy as the second cleanse because the first cleanse is getting all the 
the dirtiness off all right so it's not really giving too much you know soapiness but girl this was giving soapiness okay like the lather okay so I loved that as far as the actual formula of this body wash I love it but what threw me off was an under scent like this body wash has an under scent that I can't even explain like it's weird like I cannot put my finger on what it smells like but I've smelled it before and it's not pretty it's not attractive it's just not good in any way shape or form and it really threw me off it's not that you can smell it when you like smell the product out of the bottle it's when you actually start to use it that you smell it and I'm not feeling it so six out of ten the next product I tried out today was the skin fix pre shower body scrub yeah you heard me pre shower body scrub I am terrible at reading instructions because girl I used it wrong I was supposed to rub this into my skin before I got into the shower because it's a chemical exfoliant now don't get me wrong it did a little bit y'all it did a little bit like my skin was still soft after using it but I'm not gonna give it a rating y'all because I used it wrong so why rate it if you used it incorrectly this is a chemical exfoliant you're supposed to use it before you get into the shower and I did it wrong so we're not even gonna talk about it. We are not even gonna talk about it, y'all. Just don't be like me, girl. Don't be like me. Actually read the instructions before you buy or use a product. That is the smartest way to go, okay? Now, the third new self-care product I went ahead and tried today was the Brazilian Bear Tropical Coconut Extra Moisturizing Shave Syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this at 8.5 out of 10. And the only reason I'm not giving it a 10, a solid 10, is because, girl, I bought it because it said tropical coconut and you could barely smell the coconut like the coconut was so subtle and light I was barely picking up on it but the shave syrup itself girl it is so good it is like top tier okay I didn't like that it didn't like foam up or anything like that but the consistency of this product made up for that 100% it is such like a thick slippery syrup I loved it it gave a beautiful coat in between that razor and my skin my skin felt so soft and moisturized after using this and my skin was not irritated this is definitely like one of my new favorite shave products because girl i'm in love i don't know about y'all but i love the bonnet and lash look oh yeah i also put like a little bit of eyebrow glue on my eyebrows i didn't put much effort into it though only because like i'm not really trying to look like cute today i'm trying to like chill where the heck is the other string okay here we are yeah i don't know about y'all but i love the bonnet and lash look especially if it's like lash extensions girl it looks so cute but then also when you throw on like a necklace like when i go to put my necklace on girl the bonnet lash and necklace look it goes crazy and girl i'm gonna go ahead and start moisturizing my body oh my gosh that's like a weird textured lotion it's like a serum okay but i'm gonna go ahead and start moisturizing my body with my new products that i bought in my recent video where's the oil where's the oil where's the oil oh right here girl right in front of my face all right girl i'm gonna put a couple drops of this oil mix it in with the lotion and girl let's see i don't want too much because girl i don't want too much oil on my body i can't stand like too much oil girl it's so annoying putting your clothes on getting in your bed it's like cringe but a little bit of oil girl yes Give me the moisture. If I'm being real about like the Frenchy being French moisturizer and oil, so I probably would hate this dang lotion if I wouldn't have bought the oil because girl, the lotion's not really moisturizing at all. Like it's like a serum, like a very light serum. Like it's not doing much for my skin. Girl, the oil saved the day. Let me go grab some water. The oil saved a sister because that was not moisturizing my skin at all. So girl, 
if you're looking for moisture, this ain't gonna be your girl. But it will be moisturizing if you get the oil. Um, I like the smell of it. I like it. But it definitely don't smell the same as when I was smelling it in the store. And to me, it's giving like unisex. Like you can use it as a man and as a woman. It's not all the way feminine. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Lumi soft powder deodorant. And honestly, what time is it? Girl, it's 4.02. I ain't got too much time to chill because by the time I actually turned on the camera, it was like two o'clock because I had already done so much stuff sitting up talking to myself. I'm not going to do much today. Girl, you already did all types of stuff. So girl, by the time you go ahead and lay your butt down and try to like relax, um, there's going to be no time, sis. And I have the ingredients for chicken alfredo. I would order some food, but ordering is just too expensive, y'all. So I'm just about to go ahead and make some food. Yeah, girl, I know I said I was going to chill, but we got to eat. So I'm about to go ahead and make some garlic creamy chicken alfredo. Y'all, this is my new favorite body spray. Mmm, it is top tier, y'all. Victoria's Secret Love Spell Golden. When I tell y'all this junk smells so amazing, I'm addicted. Like, stop playing with me right now. So when I get done making my little chicken alfredo, I'm going to change my sheets because, girl, I love some fresh sheets. And then I'm going to try to chill for at least a couple of hours, which we'll see how much time I have. But you know what? At least I got some self-care done. And at least I'm going to have a little bit of time. So go ahead and chill girl my bathroom is back to crazy but i'm gonna get that done on a day that i'm not filming because i literally just filmed me cleaning my bathroom in my room but yeah girl i look cute but girl look at this dang pajama set look how freaking cute like girl it is like glowing like this is way too cute girl jordan's gonna love these i had tried on um the other like little pajama set when I tell y'all, these fit the body so well. Like, I'm not joking. These fit me so well. I love how they have these bands that actually, like, are tight. So it, like, brings your waist in. And then right here, it's like, oh, my gosh. I don't know how to explain it. It's just so cute. So if you see these at Target, this cute, like, knockoff Skims set, you need to get it. Get it while you can. I'm going to have to go back and search for the white one and see if they have my size because they're, like, so cute but girl we smelling good looking good now we're about to go ahead and make a fresh little meal
All right, girl, and the food is done. I'm just mixing around this sauce to make sure all the noodles are coated. But y'all, when I tell you guys, my Alfredo sauce is so good. Everything is about seasoning, and that sauce, girl, it is top tier. Over here, the chicken didn't really turn out how I was wanting it to, but it's still seasoned, it's flavorful, it's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on top of the noodles and girl, dinner is ready. How delicious. But like I said, girl, everything is about seasoning. For an example, y'all, I am not a big fan of eggs, but how I season them, it makes me love eggs. I add accent, salt, pepper, a little bit of slap your mama, some chipotle wet seasoning. And I also add, let me tell y'all a trick. You wouldn't think that these little cheese singles would make a huge difference in your eggs, but I'm telling you, it does. I just break it up, put it in the eggs, drop it in the pan. I do about two of these. With the seasoning, girl, my eggs are popping. I'm not an egg person, but girl, how I prepare them, top tier. And girl, this is my plate. My mom and Jordan are eating right now. They are just like, girl, this is so good. My sauce goes crazy. How I season goes crazy, period. But girl, look how delicious, girl. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This meal tastes so good. It don't make no dang sense, y'all. He made my bed and changed my sheets. I got fresh sheets on the bed, y'all. How sweet. Thanks, honey. Girl, my cheeks are bloodshot red from being in that dang kitchen. It was so hot when I was cooking, y'all. It's these dang PJs, though, because they keeping us just a warm, warm, for real. And ever since I got off of Accutane, my skin, the redness is crazy. And my skin will stay like this for like the next 10 minutes, y'all. But you know what? You got to pick what you want. I want a clear skin. Now I'm dealing with red skin, but it's clear. So you know what? It's going to be what it's going to be. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and eat in my bed. Let me get my eating tray. I'm sorry. I make the best chicken Alfredo. This dang Alfredo, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's one of the best feelings to have an amazing 10 out of 10 meal and watch a good show. Mmm, 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 mmm. Good morning, everyone, or whatever time you're watching this. It's morning here still. I was trying to make that dang scene like aesthetic and cute, but girl, the nails, they're popping off. I mean, I have had them on for a very long time, but still like ruining my scene. That's why I gotta start getting my nails done. Also, I did two takes. So I have two drinks that I'm working on right now because the first scene wasn't as cute. The second one that y'all just seen was cuter, so I'm gonna use that one, but I still gotta drink my drinks because girl, I'm not wasting, no. That tastes good though, I'm not gonna lie. That strawberry kiwi and the mango, those are very good. But like I said, it's still morning here. I'm about to go ahead and start getting myself together. Honestly, I'm debating on if I wanna wash my hair or not. Like, I feel like I wanna wash it because I feel like I wanna wear it down and curly because I haven't worn it or I haven't worn it down curly in a while. And I miss like my curly hair, like my curly hairstyle or just like my regular state. So I'm thinking I'm about to go ahead and wash my hair. I also wanna do like some makeup today because Jordan's gonna take me to this glow golf place I've been wanting to go to. Girl, there's this glow golf little spot. And when I tell y'all, it is so cute. It's like a photo props and glow golf place like they have all these cute props for like photos and selfies for example they have like led angel wings and like you stand in the middle and like you can act like you have like angel wings they have like oh i gotta take my gummies hold on they have so many like cute photo props to take pictures with i think they even have like a phone booth like it's so cute y'all every day i've been taking my sos pms gummies pms is too much for me y'all like why is it even a thing but I ain't gonna question God. I ain't gonna question God. We learned that in the book of Job. How dare we question God. I took off my pajama shirt this morning because I don't know if it's like the material or something, but it holds on to like 
smells. So I smelled like food for my cooking yesterday, y'all. I smelled like seasonings and all kind of stuff. And I'm like, why? I've never had clothes like hold on to a smell like that. So I was like, um, let me take this junk off. It ain't really smelling right. Smell like food and junk. I still got the pants on, but it was like mainly the shirt and it smelled like food. I'm like, what's going on? That's weird. Must be the dang material, the type of material it is because girl, I was not into that. But like I told y'all, I wanna go ahead and do some makeup because I haven't done makeup in a while and I wanna wash my hair and wear it down and curly. And girl, we're gonna go to Glow Golf and get some cute little pictures because girl, I've been waiting for a cute place to like take fun pictures and they'll be happy that stuff at least here in michigan so it's a two-on-one glove off and pictures girl yes ma'am okay why was i getting like weirded out thinking about the fact that like somebody lives in my old apartment like i'm like weirded out like by it. not like weirded out like i'm mad but like weirded out like wow like somebody really lives where i used to live like even the home i grew up in when i think that like somebody lives there now like it's weird like i cannot be the only one to be like how does that work? Like, it's your home now, but it was mine. It's like, it's weird. Y'all are probably like, no girl, you're weird. <laughs> Call it what you want. It's just like a little weird to me, but I know I can't be the only one that thinks like that. Like, oh my gosh, somebody lives there now. Like, they're sleeping in the same room I used to or like showering in the same shower. Like, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. My mind works a little weird, y'all. It just does. It's always been that way. Like, when I was younger, like, I used to get into like this weird zone in my mind where I would be like, I'm alive. Like I'm literally living, like I'm moving my body. Like how do, how am I moving my body? Like I can talk, like I'm alive. Like I am here. And I just like weird myself out. Like, oh my gosh. But you know what? I found out I wasn't the only one when I told my dad that I was like thinking like that. And he was like, wait a minute, you think like that too? When I was a kid, I used to always think like that. Hey, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm gonna do <clears throat> another set of whitening strips today. Jordan trying to be like me. He trying to be like me, y'all, because he did some whitening strips today. Gonna come to me talking about some. See, I did my whitening strips. I'm like, boy, get out of my face right now. You just wanna be me. Ugh. But I honestly feel like I wanna pop the rest of these nails off and put on a new set of nails. So I have these nails sitting right here. Cause I've been meaning to wear these nails for like the past year. Never wore them, spent good money on them, but I've just been like saving them. And these are the nails I want to go ahead and wear, y'all. So I think I'm going to go ahead and change my nails to these. But let me get started on this pre-poo. And then when I'm done, I'm going to brush my teeth, put my whitening strips in. But y'all know I always use this pre-poo. It's just the um, African Pride Moisture Miracle Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. Love it. It adds moisture to my hair. And if it's tangled, then it detangles it, conditions it, and moisturizes it. Since it's all detangled, though, I'm just going to do it um, in two parts. Like... I'm just gonna put it all on this side and all on this side. If it was tangled, I would have had to like split it up into like four, section it off into four and then work that way. But y'all know, like every time my hair grows a little bit, I cut some more off the ends where that light is because that's like the damaged part. So realistically for the past like year, I've been staying at the same length because I keep getting it cut. And don't get me wrong, it, it was a very good idea because I have like tons of healthy hair now and majority of my hair is healthy. But I think I'm getting to the point where I just wanna go ahead and grow it for a while and then I'll start working on cutting that light off gradually. So I'm just gonna stop cutting it for a while. I'm just gonna work on growing it and growing it and that's the update because I'm getting tired of staying at the same exact length. Like I, the other day I was talking to my mom and I was like, I think we should go ahead and cut some more off. She was like, girl, like every single time you get some length, you cut it. And I'm like, yeah, cause I'm trying to get this damage off. She's like, girl, we've been cutting for a while. Like honestly, it's been like over a year. And I was like, you're right. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let it grow out and then we'll start working on that again so that it don't hurt so bad. Cause girl, I'm tired of staying at this short length. Like, no, I'm getting real tired of it. So we're not gonna do that no more. We're gonna work on growing this junk. And honestly, the ends aren't as damaged as they of course first were when I started cutting. So I can live with these, these ends. Like I can, I can move with them. I could jig with them, I could jig with them. But I'm just making up words, but yeah. That's the plan, y'all. We're just gonna keep growing it. We're just gonna keep growing it. And that's gonna be what it's gonna be because I'm getting tired of having a short hair. 
it was all fun and games in the beginning when I first cut my hair because I had had long hair for so long. I was like kind of in need for something different. Because what happened was when I first cut my hair, I did it because I had been so depressed. And I needed something different. And my haircut, this is going to sound so weird, but it saved me. Like, I was just so happy that I got my haircut. Like, it was just like all this baggage is like gone. I don't know how. But my mom and I made the decision, like, we're just going to cut this hair off because something got to give. Like, I need something new. And so I cut my hair. Y'all remember the first time? Very cute. Loved it. In love with it. But as it was growing, I was damaging it by lightening it with that stupid sunbub hair lightener at home. Like, the at-home hair lightener. Um, I most likely did it wrong, but we're not gonna talk about it. I just want to suggest the period because it's easy to go wrong with that junk. I was just damaging it. So by the time I got it to like a really nice little length, I had to cut it again, all over again because I had damaged it so bad. Like my hair was just like, it was like straw. Like what do you, hay. It was like, hey y'all. Like it was like, what is this? This is not even hair. Like what is this? We are starting all over again and I know what I'm doing this time. Like I'm not gonna screw it up. Okay, I'm not gonna screw it up, but I'm glad that I'm getting it out of the way while I'm young because you can't be playing games the older you get. Like the older you get, you can't be playing games with your hair. Um, but while you're young, that's cool and everything, but it's good to learn while you're young so you can get it together and get it fixed, okay? But yeah, girl, this vlog is turning into like a super like chill, laid back vlog. We doing self care, we're going golfing, like we doing all the fun stuff, okay? All, all the fun stuff. This morning, my mom and I went ahead and straightened up the house. So the house is together. I ain't gotta worry about that. My mom's cooking today, so I don't have to cook today either. And it's cool because my mom, my mom and I can like bounce off of each other. Some days she cooks, some days I cook, some days she cleans, some days I clean, some days I clean. But you know what? I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys some of my highlights in this Joyce Meyer Living a Life You Love book. This is my second time around reading it. Um, I love taking highlights because let's say I don't feel like doing a bunch of reading. I can like flip through my Bible or flip through a book, find my highlights and just read my highlights and I get a boost because that's what stood out to me in the book. So might as well just go back to what stood out to me in the book and what applies to me. Okay, so first highlight. You see, it's easy to overlook the good things God has given us. We can often get busy with the tasks and challenges of our daily lives. So busy, in fact, that we easily overlook the countless blessings we enjoy. But this is why so many people are living frustrated, joyless, disappointing lives. They've simply forgotten, or maybe they never even realized how blessed they really are. Girl, that is so real. And that's what I was telling y'all in my recent vlog, like just being thankful and grateful for all of the blessings that we have in our life. And like, we have so many, we don't even realize how many we have. We just kind of go about our day every single day, not even paying any mind to the amazing blessings that we have in our life. No man is a failure who is enjoying life. And that was by William Feather. Ecclesiastes 6, 9. With the I see is better than what the soul desires. This is to futility in chasing after the wind. It simply says it is much better to enjoy what we have than it is to continually crave what we don't have. Life would be so much better if we just enjoy what we have, enjoy our life, enjoy what the Lord Jesus Christ has put into our life, than constantly craving what other people have, constantly looking the other way. You'll never be happy that way. Comparison is so dangerous. It's the quickest way to ruin something beautiful. We need to be content in our life and that's how we will enjoy it and be happy. Now being content doesn't mean that we'll never have more, that we can't work for more, that we can't even want more, but we have to be content where we're at right now or we will be miserable. And it opens up a door for the devil to torment us. You have everything you need. If you needed something else, or if you needed to be somebody else, you would have it. God has given us absolutely everything we need to do what we are supposed to do. No matter what career you have, how much money you do or don't have, whether you're single or married, or you have children or not, you are valued, accepted, and loved unconditionally by your Heavenly Father. This is so important to understand because if you falsely believe the love of God is based on what you do for a living or how well you perform in your daily life, you will never be truly secure and stable in your relationship with Him. But when you grasp that God loves you unconditionally, simply for who you are, you will be free to love your life and enjoy the person He has created you to be. God's love isn't based on what we do. This is my last highlight I'm going to go ahead and share. Gratitude is a very biblical principle. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, In every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. What is, what, what is God's will for my life? It is for you to be continually grateful in every circumstance. Once you do that, you will see 
why that is his will for you. Life only goes up when you are constantly thankful to Jesus Christ for what he's doing in your life. You see things different, your mind changes, and we all know where the mind goes, the man follows. So imagine where you'll go once you begin to be thankful. All right, girl, I brushed my teeth. I put my wetting strips in. Now I'm about to go ahead and hop my butt up in the shower and wash my hair. I would go ahead and record, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to praise and worship and pray. Gotta spend time with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, amen. So I'll see y'all in a minute and then we'll go ahead and get started on like makeup and hair and then we can head about the dough, okay? Cause we're gonna have fun today. And I'm gonna go ahead and try out this new shampoo and conditioner I just bought at Target as well as this new hair mask. Girl, I'm so excited to try out these products. We have so many new products to try so when I get out of the shower I'll go ahead and let y'all know how I feel about these and then we'll also see how my hair turns out today all right girl we're gonna get started on my makeup I already did my eyebrows off of camera because eyebrows frustrate me so bad and they're not perfect but they're there and they're decent so we're just gonna go with the flow okay so y'all just so happen to just get started as I'm sitting down to film you know what look like I said being thankful being grateful I am thankful the grass is being cut. Amen. But like I was saying, girl, eyebrows frustrate me so bad. Like, oh my gosh, they are different every single time. I don't have like a set routine. So girl, I begin frustrated like, come on. Plus my eyebrows naturally are not the same. So it's like pretty tough to get them to look the same. Like drew in. But girl, I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro hydro grip primer first of all my hair smells amazing because like i told y'all in my recent video like hair masks they have to sit in your hair and the longer something sits in your hair the better it's gonna have your hair smelling so girl my hair smells top tier like my hair smells amazing i left it in for about six minutes and girl my hair like i'm not joking i can smell it right now and then as far as the shampoo and conditioner Oh my gosh, they smell better than I remember. Like I smelled them in the store and then when I got home, but using them in the shower, they smell so good, especially the shampoo. The shampoo is such amazingness. Like what the heck? Very moisturizing y'all. And I could tell that if my hair was tangled, they would detangle it very well. They have so much slip. Like they gave my hair so much slip. It didn't dry out my hair. My hair was not like squeaky after I got done washing it. When I tell y'all that might be my new like hair care routine, like in the shower, those products are top tier. Look, I may not be the best at reading instructions, but I'm good at picking out products. Okay. And for my foundation, I am using the NARS foundation in the shade Fiji. Also, my teeth look so much whiter, y'all. Okay, we are progressing. But yeah, I love this foundation, y'all. I just had to find a good primer to go with it because foundations can be good, but they won't be to their full potential if you don't have like a good primer. So, so my girl suggested me that dang primer and girl, I have not gone back ever since, like for real. But I still need to go ahead and try out this, the Pore Professionals primer because I bought this and I still haven't used it. And I should have did it before I started applying this dang foundation because I still noticed that my pores um, look extra visible when I do my makeup, but I would probably only put it like right here. And that's probably about it because I don't really have like crazy visible pores anywhere else. But y'all, we haven't done makeup in a while. We have not done makeup in a while, okay? Y'all know I started to do makeup because of my acne. If you're new here, then you probably don't know. I've never been a makeup gal, but my acne really started to affect my mental health and my self-esteem. It started to affect my career. Like it just affected absolutely everything, relationships, everything. So one time I was supposed to go out and film with my mom. She called me and was like, are you about ready? And I was like, I just can't. Like I just broke down and started crying. I said, I just, I literally can't. Like I cannot face the camera right now with my acne like this. Like my self-esteem is shot. And she was like, we gotta figure something out. Like something has to get done. And she was like, maybe you should try some makeup. And I'm like, no, I don't wanna try makeup. Oh, I wanna. Like I just want my skin to be clear. And she was like, just for the time being, because I was starting the process of going on Accutane, like I was starting like the evaluations and stuff like that. She was like, just for the time being, I'm pretty sure that was around the time that I was, ooh, my stomach, my mom's cooking up. Um, I'm pretty sure that was around the time that I was starting the whole Accutane thing. Yeah, it definitely was, had to have been. She said, for the time being, let's just try some makeup. Like, let's just go to Sephora today and see what we can do. So let me be careful with my eyelids because it's going to get all over my extensions. So 
I'm gonna use this little one. Um, and so we went to Sephora that day and we picked out, this is what we got y'all. My mom is the best y'all. She always just tries to help me so much. But this is what we got because I didn't wanna do like foundation or anything like that because I didn't wanna make my skin worse. So we found these Dr. Jart BB like creams like premium balms do not mind my fingernails y'all i know they look crazy i really probably should give my nails a break so i'll make that decision when i get into doing my makeup if i want to put new nails on because why do that if i need my nails to get more healthy before i get acrylics because they're going to be filing them anyways so we went ahead and decided on these dr jar bb creams because they have spf niacinamide like it's like a skincare bb cream and then we also got if i can find it yeah this and I would put this on before my BB cream. That was like my little routine. This Kika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. And this is also like a skincare cover up. It has sunscreen and it's supposed to like not be bad for your skin. So we came up with that and that's what I was doing to help myself feel confident on camera. And girl, it definitely helped. Well then I started to actually like enjoy the makeup like look. I started to like like it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to learn how to do like real makeup instead of just trying to like cover up my acne. So I got into trying to learn how to do makeup and ever since then I think I've gotten pretty decent at makeup I mean I guess today we'll see <laughs> because at this point I'm kind of screwing up like what's going on with my eyelids I'm trying not to get it on my extensions trust me when I say I am not skipping over the fact that I clearly did not like fill in this part of my eyebrow and I'm just like going around it with foundation and it looks so bad it looks even worse on camera don't get me wrong like the fact that right here in my scalp like how different that looks it was not like that in person and i'm not just saying that but oh my gosh are the brows bothering me so bad like i'm struggling right now but i'm just glad that like i'm seeing it and seeing how it looks on camera so that i know not to ever do that again like i have to fill my brows in but yeah so i haven't really been wearing makeup like that just because i've been feeling like extremely confident um, in my natural self since my skin has been clear from Accutane. So I haven't really been reaching for makeup. This foundation looks like it's not matching, but it's matching. Ooh, girl, my nails are really looking wild. I need to give them a breather. That's probably what we're just gonna go ahead and do. If y'all are praying for something right now and you feel like it's just not coming fast enough, trust God's timing. His timing is always the right time. Our timing, nope, not the right time. And you will see when he answers your prayers and it finally comes about, you're going to see that his time was way better than your time. And that is how God builds like our trust with him, if that makes sense. Like he's teaching us like when you're praying for something, I hear you. I'm going to do it. But in my timing, so when it happens, you know that his timing is always right. So when you are praying about something else again and it's not coming about, you trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Like I trust you because last time I thought my timing was the right timing, but actually it wasn't. Your timing was perfect. And I know if you did it before, you're going to do it again. I didn't really blend the foundation down, but I don't care because I'll be having to get all of that off at the end of the night. So we're not even gonna care about it today. We're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna keep pushing. I tried to put as much as I could on my ears. Like I said, I ain't really trying to perfect nothing today. I don't really care that much, but I'm not gonna lie you guys, this Laura Mercier setting powder saved me before I got on Accutane because my skin was so oily. You could see the texture of my skin a lot more when it's oily when it was oily. So I used to just put my Laura Mercier powder anytime my skin started to get oily, I would bring like a little pencil kit and I would put that in like a brush and I would just always like dab up so that you couldn't really see too much texture on my skin. All right, now let me get this off my eyes. Oh my gosh. That is my alarm to upload my video. So I'm gonna go upload this video, y'all. I'll be back. All right, girl, it's all uploaded. Y'all, please go ahead and check out my recent video. I went hygiene shopping at Target and got like a bunch of cool new products. It's always fun to like watch somebody shop. So I went ahead and brought you guys along with me and I hope you guys enjoy that video. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter underneath my eyebrows. My favorite highlighter is the Fenty Beauty. Which one is this? Um, the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I always use Fire Crystal. Fire Crystal is so cute, y'all. This one, ooh girl love it i bought this out in grand rapids when my brother when he was fighting in golden gloves and yes he won y'all like i told y'all that was one of the most terrible makeup experiences ever because i got started way too late and i was just like rushing and rushing and rushing and then by the time i got there my makeup was already like melting off like i used a fenty beauty 
foundation and girl it was the biggest fail i had like a million little dots on my face and then all around my lips it was just coming off like it was so embarrassing guys and then it was too pale it was one of the biggest makeup fails i looked literally crazy by the end of the night for real and i could not wait to get back to my room to wash it off and get away because i was mad that people even had to look at me like that They're, they got to look at me like that like i was like come on girl my mama made some food she said she made a sauce i'm like what you mean you made a sauce because stop playing with me i love when my mama makes me some food okay we're gonna do a middle part and then my hair has been sitting in that towel for a minute so we need to go ahead and re-wet it so i'm gonna go ahead and re-wet my hair with this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus hold and shine moisture mist ah. oh my gosh yeah we're not putting on nails today there's no way my nails are so weak and thin that i just hit the chair and my nail is hurting so bad like it's throbbing that's how thin my nail is yeah we're not doing any nails today i was going to but we're not going to because girl it's not gonna work out no no but we're gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair with the shea moisture the matching coconut and hibiscus curl and styling milk hold on hold on <laughs> oh, i hate that we just have a little thick I used to love this stuff, y'all. I used to use it when my hair was long. <laughs> we gonna get there, girl. Stop crying. We gonna get there. We gonna get there. You gonna get there. You gonna get there. Everything is with time. Everything is with time. Enjoy the journey. That's literally with everything. Enjoy the journey. We be so busy trying to get to where we want to get, where we want to be. Then we're not even enjoying the journey. We're not even enjoying the time. And we're going to look back and be like, man, it was some good old days. I wish I would have enjoyed them more. So let's just do it instead of having to regret in the future. Why is my camera overheating? I'll be back. Oh, I forgot that I also set out this Kristen S. Curl Defining Jelly. Um, because I haven't been using it. It's just been sitting in my closet. So we're going to go ahead and use that on top of the Shea Moisture Style Milk. Ooh, I like that. I love Kristen S.'s products though. Like I love their, this line like their curly line stuff smells so good i think i do still have the shampoo and conditioner the curly shampoo and conditioner i've been through so many bottles of the kristen s i need to go look in my closet and make sure i still have some bottles because girl i love those i totally forgot about how much i love the kristen s curl stuff it makes my hair smell so good i love for products to work and make my hair smell good and kristen s does the job y'all i remember when they came out I was so excited and I went ahead and purchased them and girl they worked so good for my hair. Over time trying so many new products I have stopped but oh my gosh let me get back on my Kristen S because I love Kristen S. I'm about to go look in my hygiene closet and see if I can find my Kristen S shampoo and conditioner and I think I also had a co-wash and I don't know if they had a styler like a styling. I've had so many products y'all I can't even remember. Let me also brush the back of my hair. The back of my hair always looks the worst because it's always super dry because I always forget to focus on the back of my hair as well. But this side don't have as much product. I used to be a pro at doing my curly hair. Over time, I'm not as good at styling my natural hair like in its curly state. I used to have a whole down pack routine, but that's what I need to do is just get like a good down pack routine and stop trying all these dang products because I used to have me a little down pack routine. Okay, so my hair looks good. I hope I put enough product in because it's. I feel like I'm relearning all over again how much product to put in my hair, what to do with my hair because I guess along the way I forgot. I need to put some earrings in too, but I'm going to go eat and then I'll focus on like getting dressed, jewelry, perfume, all of that. But look how pretty my hair looks, you guys. Super healthy, y'all. It's shining. It looks so good. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I love that because when I had damaged my hair, even when it was wet and moisturized, it just looked like hay. Like it just, it was so sad. Oh my gosh. I love this. I think it's going to dry cute, y'all. We'll just have to see. It's always a mystery. It's a mystery. Every single time I leave my hair down. Okay, girls, so this is my outfit. I threw on a pair of jeans. I kept the tank top that I had on earlier. And then I threw on like this little, what do you call this? But it's got like a cute little collar 
And this is like the print. This is from H&M. This is from Hollister. And my jeans, they're from H&M as well. But I don't know if you guys can see at the bottom. They're kind of like an old school set of jeans. Because they have like that kind of look at the bottom. If it makes sense. So girl, we're looking cute. Yes, ma'am. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw on my Sperry's with this outfit. But I'm a little bit upset because since I haven't been like consistent with doing my makeup. Your girl completely forgot that I usually mix in or I started to mix in a lighter BB cream in with my NARS foundation to get the perfect match for on camera because when I'm on camera like I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now my foundation matches but on camera I look so orange so what I had started to do was mix in a lighter BB cream to like make it perfect on camera girl forgot so now I'm looking like extra orange today like in person it's perfect but girl like Look at this, like two different shades. Like that is so annoying. So we're gonna be looking a little orange today. Y'all don't mind me. Also, I added some stuff to my eyes. So I put like a white eyeliner like out here. I don't even know like the names, but like your outer corner, girl, I don't know. And then I put on some mascara on my bottom lashes. Not the full lashes, but just like the same exact way I put the eyeliner on what do you call it basically i just did it halfway the eyeliner i did it halfway the mascara i did it halfway to both sides i need to go ahead and put some more lip color on but like i'm upset because look at this guys i'm not gonna go too crazy with the jewelry today y'all i'm just gonna keep it simple and put my necklace on and then as far as fragrance i don't know what i'm gonna wear today jewelry makes everything better y'all Okay, I'm sorry that I'm such a tryhard and I just have to prove to you guys that I can do makeup and that I can match my makeup. Um, it's a couple days later and these are my pictures from today's makeup look. So I can, I can do makeup and I can do my makeup nicely. These will be my little rings of the day, y'all. Okay, fragrance. What are we doing today? I'm gonna go for Coach Poppy. We're gonna do that today. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so beautiful. Ooh, girl. Now this stuff is so pretty and classy. On top of that, I'm gonna do some J'adore. What is this one, like the, the zoo? We are gonna do this one too. And this one's alcohol free, so I'm gonna put that on my skin. All right, we good to go. come here for the glow golfing I came here to take cute pictures so I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all around because this place is too freaking cute I don't like this right here what's going on here what's going on here and I also don't like that they have a whole bar right next to this glow golf place like they're it's under construction but it's almost done it is a literal like club bar like it's 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 not it like kids are gonna come here and they're gonna be right next to some drunks like no. We at the ball, but yeah, we are not there. Okay. 1.1 million views. Stop playing. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. I am not here for the golfing. I am literally here to check all of this cuteness out. Oh my gosh, babe. We have to find a cute place for like my thumbnail. I don't like this either. What is this? It? Yeah, that's Pennywise. Gross city. Okay, actually, this looks fun. Let me try this. Here, let me see. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, go oh, God. Oh, my God. Get in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is pretty sickly. Okay, here you go. They found that junk on the side of the road. For real, didn't they? Go ahead, do your thing, baby. Oh, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> Yo. There you go. Stop playing. Oh. Let's come up. Let's come up. Let's come up. What's down there? Look, it's like a restaurant down there. Look at that. It's chairs and junk down there. I'm serious. It's like a whole place down there. It is. Hello? Okay, let me stop for somebody to get the speaking back for real. Babe, come get this dang picture of me right now on this dang swing. Right freaking now. Right freaking now. This is so cute. Babe, look what? it. It's Alice in the Wonderland. That's oh funny. my gosh. Oh, Jordan, take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. Take a picture of me. Or like get a thumbnail. Get a thumbnail. I got you. Oh, be careful. Stop playing with me. Don't, don't tease me. Oh. Yes, you do. I don't. I don't take pictures. I'm not Instagram. You need to smile with your beautiful self. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I love this. I'm not here for golfing, but honestly, they do make this golfing look like really fun. I know, right? This Where's is my dope. Ball? You stole it? Huh? Did I leave it? Your phone. My ball. Oh, I have it. Stop stealing from me, you freaking thief. I'll come right back. Wait. Oh! Oh, it so did. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! I'm feeling different. I just got back from the script club. What? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey! Me, God, I'm a me, God, I'm a me. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. Jordan, I'm so oh, excited. Wow. What's this? You put the ball in there? Uh, no. maybe if you want to lose it. You might not ever get your ball back, like right? I lost my other one. You might not ever get your ball back. This is so cool. The train station? What the heck? What is that? I'm sorry, I just wanna like go through everything first and then actually go. Yeah, I feel you. I'm too excited. Look at this just tree, checking. I want this in my room. I know, right? Oh my oh gosh, my that's God. beautiful. Oh shoot. Shoot. This my is boy. Oh my goodness. My boy. It was a good movie. Hey, hold on, stop doing that. <laughs> Jordan, look at it. What? That looks That looks really dope. We're gonna have to come back around and get real that pictures on really the phone. Dope. I'm missing somebody's exactly. phone! Stop scrolling on my Instagram. <laughs> on my Instagram. Hey, hey, scrolling on my Instagram. <laughs> oh shoot, she said. That is not my number. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, careful. Sir, I'm on the phone. Please stop. Oh. Oh my god. I noticed that you was uh, typing in something. Who, who number was that? Another sir. Okay. We on the phone, y'all. We on the phone. You looking cute out here, y'all. Stop playing. Uh, excuse me? Girl, you better come correct if you're gonna come at all. Y'all, look at this bar. The bar is literally right there. I don't know if y'all see all that liquor. Girl, it's a whole bar right next to this place. Look at that. They got freaking moonshine, slushies and junk. People trying to die out here. We came to SpongeBob house real quick. We just about to sit down oh, and chill. I knew it. This was Simpsons. Simpsons? Oh my gosh, that's the Simpsons? Yeah, that's definitely it. Simpsons. Oh my gosh, I'm about to... Hold on. I'm not kidding with you. <laughs> this is the last like photo prop area, but look how cute. We got the punching bag, we got the bowling alley. Y'all, this is too much fun. All right, y'all, now I'm actually gonna go around and play for real. So I'm gonna turn off the camera. I gave y'all a little tour. I'll be back when we're headed out. And tomorrow's hair day for Jordan. Yeah. Yeah.
girl so i just shook my hair for the first time and it's looking super cute but i know y'all just seen them cute pictures i took or he took of me in that dang glow golf photo place mm -hmm. i got some cute pictures and my teeth look so good they're getting so much whiter babe and girl i just got out of marshall's and i didn't film it because i don't have enough battery i'm literally like using the rest of my battery right battery right now girl i really did not blend my makeup down at all like this is why I can't film and do certain things because I'd be more focused on the camera than the actual thing I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was out looking like that. Oh my gosh. But I just got like some new fall clothes and girl, everything I picked out, the girl that was like checking us out, the employee, she's like, this is so cute. This is so cute. This is so cute. But if I want to get any more footage, I'll just record on my phone. But it's not as cute my, as my camera. I'm looking so cute. Mm -hmm. Better claim it. You know you want. Y'all, for some reason, I have been obsessed with Orange Pop. Girl, I don't know. And you know what's crazy is that I used to knock Jordan for this being his favorite pop. Because I just, I never really seen like the hype in Orange Pop. Now, great pop? Yes, sir. When I tell y'all, I have been obsessed with the taste of Orange Pop, especially on ice. But girl, this is good. It's a cold, nice, good Orange Pop. Thank you, baby. Exactly. You're welcome. Orange soda is really slept on. You don't really see too many people drinking that, though. Facts. They had the strawberry one, and I love that one. But like I said, as of lately, the orange one has been my favorite. But I'm like a little sad because I'm like, I should have stopped at Bath and Body Works because I've been meaning to grab more room sprays. But at the same exact time, I want to wait for them to go on sale because their room sprays go on sale for like three dollars and like ninety five cents, which is so much better than two for sixteen. So I'm like, should I have stopped at Bath and Body Works or should I wait for the sale? But like, who knows how long the sale is going to take to get here. But I love Bath and Body Works concentrated room sprays because when I tell y'all, when they say concentrated, girl, they mean concentrated. And I cannot stand bad smells. Like I cannot stand the smell of my own number two. Like I'm just being honest. So I be spraying them rugs. And when I tell y'all, it just completely eliminates the odor. Like 100% completely eliminates the odor. It's the best way to go, I'm telling you. My mom put me on. Why is my chest red? What happens to my chest? Oh my gosh. When I go on sale, I am rushing to Bath and Body Works. But at the same time, all of mine are on low right now. So we'll see, maybe next vlog, I'll be headed to Bath and Body Works to get my room sprays. Lord, please don't have a sale soon, Lord, please. I was telling Jordan one time, I spent a lot of money on them dang room sprays for two for 16, and the next day they went on sale. Lucky me, girl, like, come on, for real. But girl, my hair is looking cute. I'm gonna shake it like one more time. And girl, we'll see what happens. I was gonna stop for boba today, but I'm really not feeling it right now. I was feeling it earlier, but not right now. Like I have to be in the mood for milk tea. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna do it, but yeah. I was like, I didn't stop at Bath and Body Works. It was right there, I've been meaning to go. But no, I don't need to. But yeah, girl, I look so cute. You really do. Thank you. But I always tell y'all, like, if you have curly hair, like, most of the time, your hairstyle just isn't going to turn out cute unless you shake your hair. Like, the way my hair looked today, it was looking down and weird. But when I shook it, like, let me show y'all how I shook my hair. Let me show y'all how I shake my hair. People probably be thinking I'm itching my scalp. Like, ooh, she's nasty. Call it what it is, but I'm going to look cute. What's that? There was this little spot in Marshall's and it smelled like pee. I'm like, who's kid pee on the floor? Because a pee, pee smell is like really hard to get rid of. Okay, stay still. Okay, so you just like shake it, put your fingers in and shake. Oh, my hair smells so good. It smells like that dang hair mask, y'all. And it's only gonna get more and more voluminous. Like it's only gonna get more and more, more and more volume. Oh my gosh. So cute. You got you a cute one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love my lashes. Look so pretty. But not them having the pole in the glow golf place where little kids golf. Not them having a bar right next to the glow golf place where little kids go golfing it's literally like an arcade for kids they have like little jumping places and all that different stuff for kids i took my nephew there like we 
We went there. You can't even get to the Glow Golf entrance without going through the entire bar. Like you have to go through the bar to get to the Glow Golf. We went on this little like up and down leapy jumpy thing. freaking way i had the battery the entire time stop playing i do not remember putting it in a pocket girl i had the battery the entire time oh my gosh i'm a mess i'm not gonna beat myself up i am not gonna beat myself up i am not gonna beat myself up i didn't know you didn't know you didn't have a battery or that you didn't blend your makeup all the way down because what the freak Sit up talking about some, I don't care, I don't care. Oh my gosh, yes I do care. I can't watch this footage no more. I'm bothered just as much as you are, I promise you. Oh my gosh, this makeup look is a mess, but at least I felt confident in the moment, cause I didn't know. All I know is that I thought I packed it, which I did. Didn't know where I put it, so I just assumed I didn't bring it. I come in here looking for the battery, cause I'm like, I don't wanna like misplace a battery. The batteries are like $40. And it was actually in my purse the entire time. I'm at the point where I'm just like, if I cannot change it, if I cannot control it, why sit up and beat myself up about it, okay? No, but I'm also going to go ahead and share with you guys my hygiene empties. Like I told y'all I was going to do in my last vlog, but I didn't end up getting to it. I'm about to go grab this bin and we're going to go over all these hygiene empties, all these hygiene products I emptied out. And I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about them. I have a whole bucket full of empty hygiene products and we're not gonna let it go over anymore we're gonna start working on it first thing we have here is my intuition sensitive care razors love these i think we all know i'm gonna rate these a 10 out of 10 would recommend i'm telling y'all if you have sensitive legs if you have sensitive skin this is going to be your best bet it is such a sensitive gliding razor like it just glides over your skin it doesn't cut you you don't have to be extra careful it is that razor 10 out of 10 love that my legs are like extra sensitive after accutane and girl that razor has saved me okay my luminux whitening strips 10 out of 10 my teeth are getting whiter and whiter by the day these are the only whitening strips that do not make my teeth sensitive but actually lift the color of my teeth like they actually make my teeth white 10 out of 10 i would definitely recommend these if you have like sensitive teeth every single time you do your whitening strips your teeth hurt and they're enamel safe girl i go through so many flushable wipes so this is four packs of the Cottonelle flushable wipes. Gotta have them. I use them every single day. Okay, so these and my Bath and Body Works concentrated room sprays are what I need for going number two. Okay, I need these and my room sprays. Okay, 10 out of 10. I love these Cottonelle wipes. I don't know what I was doing just using a uh, tissue because girl what? Okay, so I have mixed feelings about this Soap & Glory Smoothie Star body wash because the actual body wash itself, like the actual product was a 10 out of 10. Never had a body wash like it. It was one of the most like slippery body washes I've ever had to where it just glided over my skin and gave me this beautiful lather. The actual body wash itself, top here never had a body wash with this kind of consistency but the smell threw me off it says that it's scented with almond and vanilla to me it smells like hazelnut and i don't like that i don't like baked goods like those kind of smells mm. like it's given like some kind of nutty hazelnut like it's just mm -mm. the actual smell no the product yes so in total i would rate this product a six out of ten because girl, the actual body wash is so good. This right here, this is definitely like my 10th bottle of this. Oh my gosh, am I addicted. I have to go to the store and get some more because this was my last bottle. This is my Hask Biotin Boost 5-in-1 Leave-In Spray. This stuff leaves my hair smelling so good. It detangles my hair so well. It's very moisturizing and I just love it. Like, I just love it. This stuff is, I don't know how to explain how good this stuff is, you guys. The shampoo and the conditioner that match this also are 10 out of 10, y'all. 10 out of 10. It smells good. It works good. It does what it's supposed to do. Okay. Y'all, 
This is my Pretty in Purple Juicy Couture fragrance. I already have a backup because y'all this stuff is so good. Oh my gosh. You can get this at Walmart for like 30 something bucks. When I tell y'all this stuff smells so expensive, but it's like 30 something bucks. It lasts very well. It smells so pretty. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. If you are looking for affordable fragrances, girl, go to Walmart and get you some of these Juicy Couture fragrances. I'm not playing. My favorite is Pretty in Purple and Ra Ra Rouge. I think we all know how I feel about this. If you don't know, where have you been? Because this is my favorite Dove body wash. 10 out of 10. The actual body wash itself, the formula, tops here. The smell, even better. It's the smell that gets me every single time. Oh my gosh. And it's even better when you put it on the washcloth and actually begin to clean your body. Then you really get that smell. Who texting a sister? Where is my phone too? I'm looking around like, uh, here it is. Wait. How do you know my name? 10 out of 10, y'all. This is the best the body wash, hands down. It would have been the gentle exfoliating one, but they changed the they changed the, the, the smell. So you're done now with this one. And then this is the dryness relief dove body wash. Y'all, I love the smell of this one as well. It's not topping that, but this one has like this beautiful cashmere. It's like a cashmere vanilla. It's so pretty, you guys. And this stuff is amazing for dry skin. The formula is amazing. It's very moisturizing. It's like buttery. It's like thick and beautiful the lather is gorgeous 10 out of 10 i love the smell and i also love the formula okay stop playing with me i should have saved this for last i should have saved this one. oh my gosh this stuff is so addicting okay this is one of the most different vanilla smells you are ever going to smell and let me tell you something there's no in between with this you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it i love it a lot of people hate it a lot of people love it i'm on the love side because what the heck is this <laughs> i already have my backup because I'm addicted to the smell. This is Dior Hypnotic Poison. Don't know how to explain it, but I'm just gonna explain it in this way that you may not understand. It is the best in the world. Oh my gosh, it's addicting. Like, a million thousand out of 10. I love this. It is one of the most warmest, comforting vanillas I have ever smelled but it's not your typical vanilla. Nothing in the world smells like this. I've never smelled another fragrance that came close to this fragrance. There's no dupe. There's no, this is similar. None of that, none of that, none of that. But Dossier, if you're watching this, please come out with the Hypnotic Poison because if you do, I'm gonna sell you out. I'm gonna sell you out. Here we have the Baby Powder Lavish Butters Body Wash. Y'all know how much I love the Baby Powder scent by Lavish Butters. I go through the body scrub like, it's nothing. Girl, they got the body wash. Stop playing with me. So I'm actually going to go ahead and rate this like a 7 out of 10 just because of the actual formula. The formula doesn't get too soapy unless you add a lot of product. And there's only so much product in this bottle, so it goes by really fast. So the trick that I found is to get like the Dove White Bar or the Dove Original Body Wash and mix this in with that. And it helps it to go. Like it extends the use of the product. I'm probably not even making sense. But the smell, we already know how I feel about this. The Baby Powder Scent by Lab. Butters. But since the formula isn't all the way there, I'm going to go ahead and rate this a 7 out of 10 just because the formula is not all the way there. I don't know why I only have two boxes of Dove Bar Soap, one pink and one gentle exfoliating because I most definitely went through a lot more than these two. But 10 out of 10 for both of these, both of these smell top tier. Two of my top favorite Dove Bar Soaps. Right now I'm working on the Dove White Bar in my shower right now. I just love Dove Bar Soaps. The smells are very addictive. Sensodyne Pro Enamel Toothpaste. This stuff is awesome for your enamel and also to prevent cavities. If you're doing like whitening um, toothpaste and stuff like that, you definitely want to also use your Sensodyne because this is going to be good for your enamel and it's going to protect your teeth. Whereas if you're just continuing to use like whitening stuff with peroxide and you're using it like Ah, 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 it's not good for your enamel. So I definitely suggest using Sensodyne Pro Enamel. This stuff is awesome. I also loved the Hello Bye Bye Bacteria. I got this on Amazon, but then they discontinued it. So I'm like, where? Who? Because antibacterial toothpaste, they do the job because they get rid of all that odor causing bacteria. But I don't know where the heck I'm going to find it. 10 out of 10 though. This stuff was amazing. It didn't get too foamy, but I'm not too worried about that if it does the job. 10 out of 10, y'all. My Jergens Original Scent Cherry Almond Lotion. 10 out of 10. Moisturizes you. Smells divine. This scent lingers on your skin like none other. Love it. It's like 
it's the same feeling I get from using like a Dove bar soap or something like that because there are just certain smells that are just like wow and this is a wow moisturizes you and makes you smell like you just put on a bunch of fragrance like top tier 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend here I have a black girl sunscreen I love my black girl sunscreen right now I'm using the little mermaid packaging but I use my black girl sunscreen every single day you guys it is a very good sunscreen love it love it love it 10 out of 10 definitely recommend girl if you don't like that sunscreen make sure you get some kind of sunscreen because let me tell you something you need your sunscreen if you ain't trying to get older and look like a shriveled up prone get your sunscreen on every day multiple times a day okay here we have the victoria's secret tease glam this one is such a sweet vanilla y that was weird but it's like a very sweet perfume with like a little bit of vanilla i don't know how to explain it but it's so gorgeous i actually remember the first compliment i got on this i went to my p.o box and the lady was like oh my gosh like what do you have on that smells so good and i was like it's victoria's secret tease glam she's like it's by victoria's secret like it smells so much more expensive like oh my gosh it's so pretty and so she wrote it down and then i'm pretty sure she bought it not sure but i'm pretty sure like she had to know what i was wearing this is such a pretty fragrance y'all tease glam i'm not gonna lie i don't use too many bath and body works products but i love their moisturizing body washes they did their thing on their moisturizing body washes like i'm not even gonna lie like they are very moisturizing they lather so nice and they're so rich like i love a rich good body wash especially for when i'm cleaning my behind because it can get that raw feeling and it can it can be like raw and over scrubbed if you don't use a nice thick rich like buttery body wash and girl this does the job so this was the at the beach moisturizing body wash 10 out of 10 y'all the actual formula all their moisturizing body washes have the same formula top tier but this smell oh my gosh it smells so beautiful y'all know i love my coconut so 10 out of 10 definitely will recommend i used to love this used to love it it used to actually be one of my favorite lotions but over time i went through like two to three bottles of it i got tired of the scent now i don't like the scent anymore the actual product itself it's a very good lotion this is the johnson's baby creamy oil and the scent aloe and vitamin e i don't like this anymore but it is a very good product and it does and it did smell good to me so i'm still gonna rate this like a 9 out of 10 i'm only gonna take one point off because now i don't like it but i used to love it and i would have rated this like a 10 out of 10 a couple months ago um i went through this little lumi acidified body wash i liked it i think it could definitely do better with like the moisturizing factor and like the lather um so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this a um 7 out of 10 because it does work good y'all for like odor control and like cleaning your body it just it could definitely do a little bit better i went through the shampoo and the conditioner but i threw the conditioner out i didn't really care for either one of them this is the repair kim kimball um shampoo didn't care for it at all it wasn't moisturizing i feel like it dried my hair out it didn't do anything for my hair or my curls i don't feel like it repaired anything and i did not like this at all or the conditioner they did smell good though yeah it did smell good so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this a three out of ten but it's only getting the points because it smelled good. I ended up using this fragrance as like a room spray because I started to like hate it. This is like the Jasmine Rose fragrance they sell at Target. I'm just putting it up to the screen because I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a picture of it online. Because I'm not seeing like a brand name. But yeah, I used to love it. If you like Jasmine like fragrances, this is going to be your girl. It doesn't have like too much of a rose, but it definitely has that Jasmine. And it was very pretty to me at first. I used to love this, love, love, I used to love, love, love this fragrance. Don't like it anymore. So I'm going to rate this a 5 out of 10. Because it doesn't stink. I'm just tired of it because I've sprayed too much of it. And it's not like a fragrance I would love for the rest of my life. There are certain fragrances that I'll love for the rest of my life. Like Chanel fragrances. You can never get tired of the Chanel fragrances. How the heck are you going to get tired of this hypnotic? Like how? But like this one is a very easy fragrance to get over. And then last but not least, I think we all know how I feel about this. 10 out of 10. Love this. I've been using this every single day for the past like what? 7 months? I don't know. When I got hip to this, you guys, I never went back. This is the NYX Brow Glue. This stuff holds my brows in place all freaking day. It is so amazing for like even before you do your eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I love this dang brow glue. It is the best brow glue I have ever used. 10 out of 10. Definitely would recommend. So those are all of my product empties that I have to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that it helped you guys out. Just in case you were like wanting to buy one of these products. Or you've seen some of these products in stores and like debated on it. So I'll let y'all know how I feel about them. It doesn't mean that it's like the set review on it because everybody has like different opinions. Like once again, to each their own. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and share my opinion on these products because y'all know I love products. I'm a product junkie. And y'all always want to see the products that I'm finishing out. So here I am. And these are all the products that I went ahead and finished out. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do Jordan's hair. He's going to get up, 
He's gonna wash his hair, probably blow dry it a little bit because it holds better when it's not completely wet. Um, and I need to go ahead and wash my makeup brushes so that maybe I can keep doing my makeup consistently. Cause girl, with my acne prone skin, I'm not about to keep using no old sponges or brushes. Maybe you can, but girl, I cannot. My acne prone skin says no. No, you don't know how blessed you are if you don't struggle with acne. So be grateful if you have clear skin and you don't have skin problems because girl, and it'd be the people with the most clearest, most beautiful skin that be complaining and going crazy about one pimple. One, one. I mean, I can see how if you're not used to it, but girl, you don't know how good you have it. Looking orange. Looking orange. I just got back from chilling with my mom, but she was like, girl, whatever you use on your hair today, keep using it, okay? No, nah, she ain't say that, okay, part, but y'all know how I am. I always have to throw that in. I'm extra annoying. So yeah, but the only way I'm able to like preserve my curls is if I put it up in a pineapple at nighttime, that's the only way my curls actually stay. So I'm gonna put it up in this little pineapple, y'all. And I'm about to go ahead and start taking off my makeup. Yes. Yes! Finally! I'm gonna take off this makeup, eat one more time because my mom made plenty of food for me to have some more food. And girl, I'm gonna have my little bus to bed. Ooh! Chef Boyardee! Hey, Chef Boyardee! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm sure you already know how I take off my makeup and stuff just because I've taken off my makeup a million times on camera. I'm just gonna go in with my Origins Checks and Balancing Cleansing Oil. Cleansing oil is awesome at removing makeup i also want to try a cleansing balm because i've heard so many good things about cleansing balms with like removing makeup but as for right now my routine seems to work very good i just use this little cleansing oil and it's not just this cleansing oil i use i use the cheaper um dhc one girl i've used all kind of cleansing oils but it's important that you don't just remove your makeup um with a cleansing oil and then call it a night it's important that you also go in with a cleanser so i'm also going to cleanse my face with this cerave hydrating cream to foam cleanser melt it off melt it off okay and then i'm also going to go ahead and clean my lashes for the first time i need to order some more lash uh shampoo because i don't know where the heck my lash shampoo is so i'm just gonna use facial wash facial cleanser which i've used facial cleanser before oh my gosh no i don't look like this right now no i don't but it's important to go in with a foaming cleanser because if not you can break out the oil is not going to clean up all that makeup it's not going to leave your face clean and i'm leaving my eyes like this because i'm just going to go ahead and wash it up with my eyelash cleaning brush this vlog had so much like self-care in it we did skincare hair care body care all kind of care y'all but i love it it's my favorite thing i don't always vlog like everything like all the cleaning i do all the cooking I do, all the extra work that I do behind the scenes. I don't always vlog that. I just vlog, you know, what I feel like I want to vlog because that's when I do my best, you know? Not recording when I don't want to record, you know what I mean? Like, then you guys are going to get the vibe that I don't want to record. I have these lash extension cleaning brushes on my Amazon storefront. And no, y'all, if you were wondering, I did not eat breakfast today. Today was like one of those days where I was just not hungry this morning. So, y'all will see vlogs where... I may not eat breakfast or I may like skip certain meals just because I'm not hungry and I don't want to like force feed. Like I don't want to like force myself to eat. So yeah. And there will also be vlogs where like I forget to show what I ate. But yeah. My vlogs don't show absolutely everything I do in a day. Just to let you guys know. There are other things that I also get done. But yeah. So when I get done washing my lashes, I just get my fan and dry them and brush them and bring them back to beauty. Girl, it feels so good to have my extensions back. I can just wash them and they still there. They still there and popping. And when you wash them, they look even prettier. Watch, when they get all dry, y'all, they're gonna be so pretty. And girl, look how pretty these lashes are. I'm about to go ahead and moisturize my face with my CeraVe moisturizing lotion and get some food and head to bed. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, ain't much else to say. I love you, see you tomorrow. Hey girl, it's the next day. It is actually already afternoon. It's 11.59, so we going on to 12 o'clock, okay. And so far, I've already been pretty busy today. I've been getting some work done on my laptop, taking care of some emails, and I scheduled Lockett an appointment for Bordetella, which is weird because her records 
are showing that she doesn't need it done until March but her grooming place like the place that I get her groomed they're saying that it needs to get done and then her old vet they always send me out emails still and they're like our records show that Lockett needs to get Bordetella so when I called her new vet they were like no her records are not showing that she needs it done but your grooming place might require it every six months every place is different so I mean we can just schedule it I'll have to like bypass it and we'll do it but I'm like why would her old vet be saying the same exact thing as her grooming place if she's not due until next March I don't know y'all it was confusing and then I got tons of reading done and I watched the new talk it out podcast which was awesome y'all know I love the Joyce Meyer talk it out podcast also y'all my curls are pretty popping now my front pieces I need to like redo them because they're like all crazy so I'm just like tucking them back my curls are still popping i'm telling y'all that dang pineapple really preserves my curls i mean of course my curls are not the same they're a little bit more frizzy but they are wearable like i can go out like this okay i miss wearing my little curly style y'all know lately i've been doing like my twist to keep my hair moisturized detangle get it growing okay but here and there i'm gonna have to go ahead and let my hair down okay we love it no but yeah no but yeah what are you talking about Oh, I also just got out of the shower and got myself together. Nothing crazy. I'll just do like this little white shirt that says Portofino. What is the heck? Portofino, Italy. Gavi di Luro. And some gray sweats. I'm waiting for Jordan to get out of the shower. He's washing his hair right now. He's going to have to blow dry it a little bit. Just because his retwists, like they don't hold if his hair is super wet. Um, but I was watching the Talk It Out podcast. They came out with a new one today. It's every other Tuesday. I'm a little bit sad because they don't have Jay on the show anymore. They don't have Jay on the podcast, which I'm like, Jay, like, I loved her. She was, like, so awesome on the podcast. I love to hear her voice, her stories, like, all of that. But she's no longer on the podcast. It's, it's making me sad, y'all. Like, come on. Can she, like, pop up here and there? I hope so. Um, and they were talking about rejection. And you know what I love that they tapped on? They tapped on cancel culture. I love that because that is such, like, a toxic thing going on right now. Like, you're canceled, you're canceled. And then if you don't conform to the cancellation, then girl, you're canceled too. It's just like a follower pick me kind of thing, honestly. But I was like, no, y'all, it's not tapping on that. Yes, ma'am, let's talk about it. And of course, they're more wise, they're older in age, and they were just like, it's just like this false reality. Like, it's just like this fake world. Like, one of the ladies, Lisa Bevere, was saying every single night before she goes to bed, she turns off her phone. She's like, bye, fake world. Like, this, is, this stuff is not even real. But they were talking about rejection, and I love that because rejection, like, the fear of rejection is, like, such a huge thing in today's day and I think it's been like that for a long time but especially in these days where like people don't know who they are in Christ so they have no confidence so they're always fearing that somebody is going to reject them and what I wrote down this isn't everything they said I kind of like took my own notes like added my own things because this is what I believe the fear of rejection leads to so I was just writing down some things like the fear of rejection opens a door for the enemy. The fear of rejection leads to fear of man, which is like people pleasing. I'm scared that I'm not good enough. I'm scared that they're going to reject me. So I'm going to try to like do other things to try to like please them. That's one thing that could come out of the fear of rejection. Also, acting in a prideful way so that people won't reject you. Like, let's say every school I've gone to, I've been rejected. People always bully me. People always talk about me, blah, blah, blah. So this time I'm going into this school year, into this school, prideful as crap with my chest puffed up and I'm going to act a certain kind of way because you're not going to reject me and you get to acting like somebody that you're not and it just causes confusion. Um, also not liking yourself because you feel that others don't or won't like you. Also not letting people in so they won't even have a chance to reject you which kind of like ties into what I just said like I'm gonna be this way I'm gonna be tough I'm gonna guard my heart and I'm not gonna let anybody in because y'all not even gonna have a chance to reject me not living your life to the fullest you can't completely be yourself because you're scared that people are gonna like reject you also rejecting people before they can reject you so you reject them because you're scared that they're gonna reject you allowing people to control you with rejection they reject you and then say what they feel and since you're scared of rejection that hit home so you're like okay i'm just gonna do what they say because i don't want them to reject me and then also rejecting yourself which ties into like everything that i said like i'm not gonna be myself i'm gonna reject what i really want i'm gonna reject what i really want to do all of that because i don't want to be rejected but how do we deal with the fear of rejection confidence in who you are in Christ. It is like the weapon against rejection, the fear of rejection. 
because I know who I am in Christ. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I know who God made me to be. I know who I am in him. At that point, then I'm not really worried about y'all because I'm confident. I'm confident in who I am in Christ. That's a different kind of confidence. I'm confident he's with me. I'm confident he approves of me. I'm confident he loves me. I'm confident the way he made me is perfectly fine. Is more than perfectly fine. So you really have to know who you are in Christ. That's going to give you that bold, strong confidence because God does not give us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind of power and i'm not gonna lie another thing that has also helped me with like the fear of rejection is thinking the best of people like when i go into the store i feel like the fear of rejection gives me anxiety but if i think the best of people and think like their mind is pure towards me like nobody's judging me it helps me to spread love and it also helps me to not fear rejection which in return helps my anxiety so i just been really trying to like think the best of people when i go places because it's easy to always be on guard and think the worst of people and just put up like this prideful shield when you're insecure you don't know who you are in christ and you're fearing rejection then you're just mean to everybody you think the worst of everyone absolutely don't trust a soul it just makes us bitter and like unhappy in life and we can never truly enjoy life the more we love others the happier and more fulfilled we become Loving others is the primary ingredient to living a life that we love. But we can't love nobody if we don't love ourselves. Like, you can't give nothing that you don't have. What we put into our spirits will always affect how we live. What we think about, what we listen to, the things we read and watch. All of these influencers matter. They will help push us forward into God's plan, or they will drag us back into defeat and frustration. And that ties into the scripture, like what you're putting into your spirit. It ties into the scripture, Matthew 6, 22, your eye is a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is. We have to seriously watch out for what we are watching, what we're looking at, what we are allowing ourselves to hear, what we are saying, because the devil can gain access through your eyes, your ears, and your mouth. Whatever you see enters your mind and influences your thought pattern. So you could read or watch something that's gonna hurt your mind. Your ears receive information by hearing, such things as conversations, music, etc. And then as far as your mouth, first of all, your mouth helps you to know the state of your mind. But let's say you're gossiping about people. Even if you're watching a TV show, a YouTube video, and you're judging them and you're talking about them, that is coming out of your mouth and right back into your spirit because you're the first person to hear it. You're hearing your own words and you're gonna feel that way. What are we watching? What are we listening to? What are we saying? Those things are so important. And I just randomly had some notes in here that I was like, wait a minute, I also have notes on this. So we have to avoid consuming the wrong content. We have a choice. How do you wanna feel? Because what you're hearing and watching, whatever's going into your spirit is gonna affect how you feel. And then also, this is something I wrote down for myself, but also for you guys. Anyone that is speaking hate and negativity is being used by something demonic to stop the greatness inside of you. But only because you have a great calling on your life. Only because of what Christ has put inside of you. You have to tap into the power that Christ Jesus gave to us. We have power in Christ. These demons and these evil spirits, yes, they have power, but nowhere near the power that we are given by Christ Jesus. Tap in. Okay, but girl, my mom just said that she made some food, so I'm about to go eat. My mom been making me some food. I'm about to go eat. I need to clean my makeup brushes and then I'm gonna get started on Jordan's hair. His hair always takes me like four hours, but I just have not found any time to get his hair done because it does take four hours. If it took like one or two, I could have found time, but since it takes four hours, I have not been able to find any time to get it done. But today I got the time. I'm gonna get him all feeling good and then he needs to get his hair cut soon. And then I'm gonna get started working on this video. So that's what my day has consisted of, reading, praying, prison worshiping, watching that podcast, getting some work done on my laptop, scheduling Lockett's appointment, getting myself together, talking to my mom a little bit. We had a guy come out to fix our stove top because one of the eyes um, hasn't worked since we moved in. So I just have to like light a fire and then it goes. But um, yeah. Girl, 
I just got done eating. I'm all full. The food was delicious. But I'm about to go ahead and get started washing up these makeup brushes. I thought I had way more to clean, but these are the only brushes I have to clean. And then I have all of these sponges to go ahead and clean. Y'all know I use my Dawn Platinum dish soap to go ahead and clean my makeup brushes as well as the sponges. This is the best. <laughs> soap to use to clean your makeup brushes and sponges. I always use this little um, makeup brush cleaner I bought at Marshalls. I actually just seen this exact one at my new Marshalls. And then I put Dawn dish soap on it. And then I just clean my makeup brushes that way. And then once they're clean over here, I'm gonna go ahead and put down paper towel right here. And they'll just sit down on here and air dry. And by the end of the day, they'll be all dry. All right, girl, I got my makeup brushes and my sponges all clean. Oh yeah, girl. And then last night, oh my gosh, I got up in the middle of the night because I usually do to use the restroom, went into my bathroom, there was a huge spider, just a huge, huge spider just sitting on my floorboard. I was like, Jordan! Thank the Lord Jordan was still up playing with his friends on his little video game because he came and killed it. But oh my gosh, was I freaking traumatized. And I'm like scared of my bathroom now because that's not the first time. Like a week and a half ago, I was in my bathroom getting ready to go somewhere and a black spider, like a thick, nasty black spider came from behind my wax warmer. So now I'm just like, I have a love-hate relationship with my bathroom because why do I keep experiencing, what? Why do I keep experiencing this spider trauma in there? Like why? But I'm sitting here waiting for Jordan. He late for his appointment. So you know what? It's gonna be a cancel or an extra fee because at this point, you wasted my time. I got clients back to back. Yes, ma'am, we got the chair here and everything. I just been waiting, like, come on. You can sit down. Mm-hmm, you're late, mm-hmm. Right on time. You can sit down and you will be charged an extra fee. And matter of fact, you can't even book again. An extra fee for not sitting down? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can sit down because you was really wasting my time acting like I don't got the clients back to back. It's crazy. It's just crazy. All right, position your head right. Come on, boy. You want me to add some oil first? Yep. Okay. I'm going to use my lavender black castor oil. Put your head down a little bit. This does smell good. Yeah, that's on my neck. My neck don't smell good. Oh, but it did go down your neck, didn't it? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. And then you gotta go ahead and get your hair cut soon. Yeah, gotta go on that app, book it up. Yeah, it's pricey, but honestly, that's probably the best haircut you ever had. Yeah, it really was nice. Very nice. So, I mean, yeah, for the price, it's not too, too bad. How much was it again? Uh, I can't remember if it was like 45 or 50. I think it was 50. I did. Yeah, Plus tip so. and stuff. So that is pricey, but honestly, like I said, it was the best haircut you ever had. So you pay for what the heck you get. You get what you pay for. You did a really good job. I think you found your barber. Mm -hmm. It's always good to stay with the person that hooks you up. Right. All right, but I'm going to get you right today, though. But you're going to have to pay me like an extra 250 right. on top of the 3 I'm charging you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know who got it like that. Me. 
Because you're going to pay it to me. Yep. Plus a tip. And I require 50% tip. Mm. Yeah. That's required. You read it? You already signed, so I'm not worried about it. You probably will get to that one day where people like start requiring like a certain tip. Oh my gosh, that would be pretty wild. It would be very Not wild. Not no 50% yeah. though. I'm yeah, a good no. tipper though, but don't like make me. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Like I'm doing it just to be nice. Hold on, let me get my toothbrush. Bad. Girl, we are making progress. Yes, ma'am. You excited to get your hair done? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. It's looking good so far. I got four rolls done, and these are the four rolls that definitely take the most time because they have so many, like, dreads. Now, I think I've got about four more, but they're very short rolls. But, girl, we were watching this video, and this is why it's so important, and I spoke about it a million times, but you can never speak about it too much. It is so important to speak and say Jesus' name because you are letting people know the God that you are talking about. Because a lot of people say God. We were watching this video and the guy was talking about God this, God that. And then by the end of the video, he disclosed like what God he was talking about. And girl, he was not talking about Jesus. And I was like, okay, see, this is why, and I already know, but I'm like, this is why you have to say Jesus's name and specify who you are talking about. The one and only true living God. Because everybody says God. Everybody thinks their God is God. Everybody says God. Everybody talks about God. But not everybody is talking about the true one and only living God, Jesus Christ. And that is why it is important to say his name because you are making it clear what God you're talking about. And don't get me wrong, there's only one God and other make-believe ones, but it's just important to say his name because that's why I always say it because I don't want nobody getting it twisted because it's very deceiving when people get to talking about God. God this and God that. There's no power in any other name but Jesus. There's no power in saying God. There's power in saying Jesus. It's the next day, but I just want to go ahead and insert this clip because you guys didn't really get to see how the twists look, but they look so nice. Shake them, baby. Shake them. Okay, look at them getting all long and junk. Hair longer than mine. Okay, <laughs> girl. Oh my gosh, girl. My hair is still so popping. Like, oh my gosh, I love this. And when I tell you guys, my hair still smells amazing from this hair mask and i know it's this hair mask because my hair smells like this i told y'all on my hygiene shopping video that this was gonna make my hair smell good because this dang hair mask smells so good and it's not like a light fragrance it's strong y'all so i knew that letting this mask sit in my hair my hair was gonna smell so good and when i tell you guys i am so obsessed first of all it's moisturizing it's an amazing mask but my favorite thing is that it makes my hair smell so good like oh my gosh y'all my i wish i could smell it like my hair still smells so amazing so girl if you want your hair to smell good and be moisturized you have to try out this dang being french lavender cloud hair mask but i need to go ahead and get started editing this vlog so i'm gonna go ahead and edit End off the vlog it's time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here i love every single one of you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog how i enjoyed making it and filming it i love you all god bless you all in jesus name make sure to speak his name okay and it's time for your girl to go bye girl